Deborah Cullen, Director and Chief Curator of the Wallach Art Gallery at Columbia University, and this is Relational Undercurrents, Contemporary Art of the Caribbean Archipelago. This is an exhibition that originated at the Museum of Latin American Art in Long Beach. It's part of the Getty Pacific Standard Time Initiative. It was curated by a graduate of the Art History Department here at Columbia University, and we thought it was the perfect exhibition to travel to New York, New York being one of the largest Caribbean cities in the world. The idea was to bring about, um, make visible connections that um, were not necessarily clear because even the, the Caribbean has typically seen as a space of heterogeneity and fragmentation. And what I wanted to point out were points of common and community, even though from people who spoke different languages and who didn't know of each other's works. The four themes of the show are um, perpetual horizons, works that emphasize the horizon and the, um, the, the insular perspective, um, conceptual mappings, works that think about map and place um, in ways that really reject the colonial legacy of mapping the region and build forge their own connections. We have a section called Landscape Ecologies, which focuses on uh, landscape and environment and w in which artists kind of meditate on um, ways of thinking about nature that call attention to natural disasters, but also to kind of counteract the tourist view of the Caribbean as one endless white sanded beach. This work is um, a way to think about um, Car the Caribbean as a monolith and the way that people speak about the Caribbean as a monolith. Um, so in the way what I did with this is I combined five different Caribbean islands, Trinidad, um, Barbados, Martinique, Jamaica, and Haiti um, to come up with this island. And it's also a way to think about um, people having to rebuild their lives after things, after their lives have been destroyed. The title of the work is Thirst 2 and the data that is shown on the work is um, showing you the cost of 100 gallons of clean water supply to 16 cities throughout the world. This painting actually represents banyan trees that although you know, they're not native to the Caribbean, they're in basically every you know, major park in the Caribbean. And when I think of Cuba, which is where I'm from, I always think of the parks with the banyan trees. So these paintings were actually made on site. And I made them on purpose from different perspectives, right? So to me, they represented a really interesting metaphor for immigration, community, and how really we migrate over time, right? It's great to be in my hometown in New York and as a New Yorican showing my work at home is wonderful to talk about and explore the themes of map making of cultures in the Caribbean and as a Jamaican Puerto Rican I really enjoy talking about how uh, all of these cultures interlink and what that looks like and the tensions of that and the beauty of that just like it is in New York City. It's really great to have a venue and an institution here. I can bring like my nephew here like it's not you know all the way downtown or it's not all the way in Brooklyn you know and it's really great to sort of have an arts venue an additional arts venue because there's a studio museum there's a Schomburg but you know somewhere else to go to sort of take in and experience Caribbean identity um, and within the space of, you know, America and the world. I love the whole concept of the Caribbean as a whole because we're in the same ocean, same, you know, Mar Caribe with the Atlantic. And it's interesting because of the colonial past we have. It's all fragmented, but I think we all have the same uh, background roots. Uh, we, we share a lot of histories in common. This is a perfect exhibition to bring to New York City, not only to our campus, but the broader community. Relational undercurrents will also be shared with our neighbor, Sugar Hill Museum of Children's Art and Storytelling. It's really important for the Wallach to continue always in collaboration with not only the campus, but our neighboring institutions.